speaking, will be in port within the hour. Once alongside, those not on watch will be free to enjoy some R&R. &R. Yes! What do you say, Rowie? Gonna cut loose tonight or what? Sadly, I'm on watch too, Des. Ah, uh, bummer. What about you, Bert? Uh, I've got food to prep for tomorrow. Oh, how boring are you guys? Looks like I'm gonna have to have enough fun for the three of us. Remember, two dads, this is a goodwill visit. Let's not wear out our welcome on the first night. I'll keep an eye on him, sir. We'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> oh, that'll oh. be my job, ma'am. Well, that doesn't fill me with confidence either. Oh, oh, oh would you look? Oh. Captain oh. had the ship. What rubbish. You What's know, that? I might just have to come along and keep an eye on all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. All right, we've still got a ship to get alongside. Swain, give the order. Yes, sir. This is the duty men and cable party close up. Check damage control state three condition voyage. Best place in town, mate. Get us there now. Chip yeah. Rock, Chip Rock, come on, good number, good number. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Yes, yeah. Hey, oh, 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 I love it. I love the ambience. I love the energy. Oh my gosh, I love the, the beautiful scenery. Look at this. You can look, but don't touch. I charge in. My heart belongs to somebody else, but certain other organs. Oh. Oh. What do we drink to? How about your impending promotion? Oh, that could be yeah. All right, oh. practically done deal, Alex. To the almost lieutenant commander. There yeah. 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 Tourist, 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 American tourist, tourist on their honeymoon. Oh, sex tourist if I ever saw one. It's a skill. Talking rubbish. Uh, reading people. Comes in handy on the poker table. Oh, whoa, whoa, check it out. Table over there. See those two guys? Definitely gay. <laughs> okay, Sherlock. What's her story? Boys. We're going to head down to Bar 66. You coming? A bit more of a local crowd, apparently. It's Bar 66 it is. Yeah! Few <laughs> too many tourists here for my liking. Ah, oh, drunk it! Hi. I'm Two Dads. Ah, uh, Leo. Do you have a name? Do you speak English? Do you like magic? That was almost a smile. <laughs> huh? Why so sad? Have you been stood up? Ah, he's a schmuck. Forget about him. He's not worth it. Would you like a drink? Yes. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, OK? Uh, Ramondo, Ramondo, give me two flaming flamingos, please.
That's it. Swain was waiting on a ship in a bivet fluid. Come on, Kate, pick up. Did I hear right? There's been an explosion in the nightclub district. Yeah, Lugabar's been hit. Suspected suicide bombing. Isn't that where the guys are going? The ex isn't answering. Oh, God. Okay, Bird, help with the blankets and water. Boat deck at the rush. <laughs> all right, all right, hey. Coming, coming. All right, okay. Easy, easy. Hey, Dusty, Dusty, can you go and get something uh, outside? More substantial to wrap around this, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, hang with us, all right? We're going to get you out of here. Yeah, mate, here. Hey, Tudge. Yeah. Medicates, the ammo should have spares, yeah? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Stay with us, okay? Stay with us. Hang on, Swain. No, no, no. I'll go, I'll go. All right, all right, all right. I'll go. I'm thinking I'll leave the broken. Ah. Okay, no. Can you put your arm around me? Yeah. That's it. Ah. Sorry. Ah. 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 I need you to find my last friend. She's dancing on the dance floor. It's down, honey. Have you seen him, Rizzi? Or... Right. Let's just get you some help, eh? Hey? He's been sucking on that whistle, man. Was that the ex? Still not answering. Go straight through the message bank. I called two dads' phone. He says it was out of reach. What? Oh, me. The pulse is ready, and the respiratory rate's low. She's got a rigid abdo, too, so she might have some internal bleeding. Okay. Thank God. I thought... No, no, no. I'm all right. Two dads was at the bar when the bomb went off, and now I can't find anything. Anyway. Wait. We brought everything we had. Yeah, good work, mate. They're running well on morphine. Yeah. OK. I want everyone working in pairs to help clear debris. Grab a torch from Robert. Two dads are still missing. Keep an eye out for him, but help everyone you can. Bert? Yeah. Triage area's out here on the street, but don't move anyone until they've been medically assessed, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 we're coming. Concentrate okay. on the leaving, Bert. Next. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Stay, stay calm. Two dads. Two dads. Hex! Got right. some more down here. Hex, we've got some more over here. Who's next? We should keep our eyes open, sir. There's often a second attack during the cleanup. They do it for maximum carnage. Two dads! Two dads! Just keep walking out the front. Hex, I think I see someone under the bar. <coughs> Saved him from the blast. Oh. What blast? Get out of here. Two dads? You all right? Two dads! You're okay? Two dads. I thought that. I mean, we, we oh, all thought. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Just... Wait on. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You all right? Don't wait. <coughs> Fine. Some ringing in my ears. No, I think this is superficial. Uh, He's going to be all right, boss. Good. Still more work to be done. Should have known. Take more than the bomb blast to keep you down. 
Hey, 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 hey. Can you tell me what day it is? Luckiest day of my life. <laughs> you got that right. right. Okay, I need you to hold this to your ear and keep pressure on it. I've got to go back inside. You feel nervous or you feel any pain you let someone in the mind. Yeah, yeah. Back in a minute. She's not breathing! Go get help! Go get help! Bump up to one! She's in a critical condition. Thanks. Well done. I'm proud of you. you okay, Ben? Good work, Dutchie. Charge. How you doing, two dads? You all right? on the phone for those 20 minutes. The most critical cases have been airlifted to Darwin, the rest are in the local hospital. So you were trying to chat her up? No, I was trying to cheer her up. You were trying to cheer up a suicide bomber. She looks sad. Oh, I'm not surprised she was about to blow herself up. I just don't get what would motivate someone to do that. Fanaticism. Death at all costs. That's why they use a dead man switch to trigger the device. What's a dead man switch? It's activated when it's released rather than pressed. <gasps> that way, even if the good guy's shooting, boom! Thing still blows up. Hey, um, shouldn't you be resting up? No, no, I'm fine. I get back on the bike kind of guy. Well, listen, I've spoken to Fleet Medical and teed up some counselling sessions for him to get back, OK? No, not just for you, they're for everyone, all right? Make way, coming through. Pardon me. Who's that? Madeline Cruz, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Mike Flint, what can I do for you? Can we talk privately, Commander? You've already met my exo. This is Petty Officer Boson Dylan Mulholland. Do you can trust them as much as you can trust me? I've been liaising with the Prime Minister and Cabinet's office in regards to last night's bombing. I have special orders for Hammersley to proceed immediately to those coordinates. 
For what purpose? I've been tasked with an operation. Once we reach this position, there'll be further instructions. I'm sorry, Miss Cruz. Call me Madeline. Miss Cruz, I can't take this ship anywhere. My orders are to help with the evacuation of Australian casualties. I have special orders signed by the Defence Minister. My operation takes precedence. Just what is your operation? I can't tell you that, Commander. I don't appreciate having someone commandeer my ship, Maxine. Your ship? I wouldn't get too attached. It won't be long until you're back to driving a desk. The Department of Foreign Affairs is supposed to assist Australians overseas. Best way for them to do that is to let us transport them home. Our orders are clear. Madeline Cruz has ministerial approval. Why is the Defence Minister involved with DFAT? Well, the way I hear it, Ms Cruz just happened to be on the ground. Now, you mightn't like it, Mike, but you have got to bend over backwards to help her. Hey, buddy. You OK? She dumped me. What? Bomber dumped me. By email. No. She says she's met somebody else. Oh, man. Because of Maya. Just the man you saw detonate the bomb at the Luger Bar. What? Is that the gay guy? Gay guy? What do you mean? Oh, he was with another man. What other man? Uh, he left before the bomb went off. What did this other man look like? Sorry. I, I didn't get a good look at him. You? I'm a bit hazy. I can't really remember. Think. It's important. Your dark hair, Caucasian, not local, maybe late 30s. Maybe. Hey! The woman, the other suicide bomber. Have you heard anything? She died. <laughs> hey. How are you, see, Legs? Excuse me? Oh, it's just the motion can sometimes play havoc with your equilibrium, right? I know a few pressure points if you feel queasy. I'm sure I'll manage. What was that all about? Beats me. I reckon you kill it a crack a smile sometime. Not a lot to smile about at the moment. Hey, um, how's the promotions list? Has it come out yet? Sometime next week. Mm. The CEO can't wait to get off this tub for good. It was pretty cut up last night. XO and PO Mulholland to the bridge. XO and PO Mulholland to the bridge. Coming up on the coordinates now, I want you to give Ms. Cruz your full attention while she briefs us. We'll be sitting tight for a bit. There's a parachute drop scheduled for 1,700 hours. That parachute drop, what are we picking up? Not what, who? Four SAS personnel. You'll then be escorting them to this point on the mainland where you'll provide backup support for a covert mission they don't undertake. What sort of covert mission? Covert. Okay, Swain, maintain position on the edge of the drop zone. Sir. X, plot a course to this point on the mainland. Yes, sir. So now we just sit tight. You okay? I heard you got dumped. Who told you that? Bird. She heard it from Dutch, you heard it from Swain. It's ironic, isn't it? Yeah. Did you get dumped via email? Communication being the cornerstone of any successful relationship. Since when are you an expert in relationships, Swain? Oh, no, I don't claim to be. I'm an expert on communication. No, that's ironic. <clears throat> Sir? This is Echo Bravo 35, over. Echo Bravo 35, this is Australian warship Hammersley. What is your position, over? Uh, right above you now, Hammersley. 2,000 feet on the heading 230 at 80 knots. Entering the drop zone now. Rib party standing by. And Elvis has left the building. X, our contact, red five. Our contact to red five. He's caught in his shoot. I think he's injured. Roger. Bring us in closer, Harvey. You right? Hang on, mate. Give me a second. That's it. In you get him. Oh. Were you hurt, mate? Shoulder. Oh. Got him? Give us your arm, mate. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Swain, how is he? Uh, bust his shoulder, man. X, we have two SAS rescued. By my count, there should be one more. Copy that. 
Seeing you, Katie. Captain James Roth, at your service. <laughs> Sway, what's the verdict? Uh, well, he's definitely got a dislocated shoulder and maybe a fractured clavicle. So the rumours are true. Jim Roth returned. Hey, okay, Mike. Wish this whole thing was a little less melodramatic. Only one man down. You handed yourself well out there. Could be cool. Don't even think it, Captain Ross. This is a four-man job. Will I's out, I need to replace him. I'll do it. I'll take your spot. No offence, pal. Looks like the breeze would blow you over. You seen any real action? A bit. In the Gulf. I don't want him. Why not? You don't have security clearance. I'm the tactical commander of this operation. So it's my call. I have a duty of care here, Dutchie. Can you tell me exactly what this operation is? Sorry, Mike. It's not my call. You'll have to ask her that. I've been fairly accommodating, but all this need to know rubbish is starting to piss me off. Have you spoken to NAVCOM? Have they told you to offer me every assistance? Then we're clear, Commander. I'm pretty clear that you don't want Dutchie on this mission of yours. That's right. Then if Dutchie wants to do it, once he's been fully briefed, he has my approval. Come with me. Hey, why have we stopped? What's going on? We'll take the ribbon from here. Hey, two dads, you go ahead, I'll catch up. Yes, ma'am. Good to see you, Kate. Been wanting to drop you a line for a while now. So you thought that you'd just drop out of the sky instead? Yeah, something like that. So why were you going to drop me a line? So I was going to. Said I wanted to. A big difference. Everything ready? Yeah, dutchie has been fully briefed. Sworn to secrecy on pain of death. Lieutenant. You and Captain Roth. Is this going to be a problem? What do you mean? Your past relationship. I can't afford for it to be a distraction. That was a long time ago, and no, it won't be a distraction. Hammersley, this is Thunder. We are on the beach. Over. Copy that, Thunder. Twenty minutes, not a minute longer. If we're not back by 2200, you go. If you're not back by then... It means our mission's failed. We'll find an alternative evac point. Get Eli out of first line. Dad, you be careful. Uh, sir, uh, I've been receiving encrypted signals all day from Mrs Cruz. I don't think that she is with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. You know, if you ask me, I'd say she's an easier speak. Tell me something I don't know, Robert. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why Dutch on this mission and not me? Well, let me think. SAS mission. Is Dutchy you? And Jackie. It's 2201, ma'am. Hammersley, this is Thunder. 20 minutes is up, sir. What are your instructions over? Return to the ship. Uh, so, you want to give them a few more minutes, over? Negative. Return to the ship. Yeah. Hey. Look, Gregor. Roth.
ガガガガン What the hell's going on? Give you new orders, Commander. Just get us back to port as fast as you can. Charge. Bring up Austere. Hi, sir. What's up, sir? Do we have any idea who this guy is or what this is about? Stand aside. What do you think you're doing? I want to talk to you now. I'm in the middle of something. I said now. I'm the captain of this ship, and everyone on this ship is under my authority, including that man in there. And I will not sanction his torture. Listen, Commander, we have intel that the man behind the Lugabar bombing is planning another attack on an Australian target, possibly the consulate. What's that got to do with him? I believe he has information on that man's identity and the location of the safe house. Then you question him for information without torture. This has got nothing to do with you. My orders come from way over your head. I don't care where they come from. This is my ship, and what I say goes. Fine. You have my word, Wibble Gentle. I want one of my crew members in there. We'll take Dutchie. No, I want Swain. Either you take Swain, or I put a stop to this right now. I'm making a full report on your failure to cooperate. If my mission fails, you'll have a hell of a lot to answer. Swain. I'm not asking for your support, merely informing you of my actions. Julie noted, Mike, I am giving you my support anyway. If there are any repercussions from this, we will both face the music. In the meantime, your original orders stand. You'll be transporting the less seriously injured bomb victims to Darwin. OK. We'll liaise with the local authorities as soon as we reach port. Talk to you later. Uh, sir, we're coming into port. You're needed on the bridge. Thanks, Brad. How'd they go? Yeah, they got a name. Uh, Lennox Raman, and the name of a place in town. Yes, what's going on? Is the car on its way? Good. No, I don't need a special driver. I'll handle that. OK. Since interrogation took so long, we'll be hitting the house in daylight. Increases the risk, but at least you can sleep tonight. You think this was about my conscience? Don't tell me it was about doing the right thing. Let's go! Sir! Excuse me, sir. Local hospital just called through. Patients will be ready to transfer within the hour. OK. Let's go and make some room for our guests, all right? Dude, Ads, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, sir. Then you can oversee the arrival of our passengers, settle them comfortably into Austere. Yes, sir. Great. Nurse Kosov Meyer at your service. We received intel a week ago. There were three in the cell. Two of them are dead, so it should just leave Raman in the house. What, you knew about the threat a week ago? Why didn't you issue travel warnings? That would have compromised the identity of the informants. But you could have prevented the bombing. People were killed. I had no way of anticipating that, but I'm not about to let the consulate or any other Australian target get hit. Ma'am, um, I'm Kate. If you'd like to come with me, I'll get you some. Can have your passports board. ready for me, please? Thank you. Just watch your step. The house with the blue gutter. Don't panic and get trigger happy. I want Lennox running alive. You have your passports ready for me, thanks. Oh, row, row, row. Yeah. You can take over for me for a second. I need to exercise my right for a toilet break. What? Uh, is that one yours? Can you put it in the box for me? She's a warm and friendly person. She doesn't seem to think too highly of you either. Got a visual in the back? Negative. Blinds are drawn. Good time to rig to blow. On three. 
One, two, three. Clear! Clear! All right, we're clear. There's no sign of Raman. But there's stuff here to suggest he's been making a bomb. Jim. Stand by. Looks like he's been making other stuff too. It's a medical ID. What, you think he was tipped off? If he was, he wouldn't have left all this stuff for us to find. Well, what does this tell us? He wants access to a hospital. It doesn't matter our intel. He's supposed to be hitting an Australian target. And your ID, please, sir? Dr. Malik, OK? There's nothing here. I say we sit off the house and wait for him to return. It's not a safe house anymore. He won't be coming back. Hey. Bird was supposed to be at Marine Link. Just fixing up some scran for our guests. God help them. So you thought you'd come up here and skive off, did you? Yep. Might as well live up to my reputation as being useless. Self-indulgent. Here, not on the pipe. Find him, tell him in person. Tell him what? It's the third man from the Luga Bar. He's an Ostia. Boss, Hammersley's the target. Now slow down, Dutchie. What makes you think Hammersley's Sir. the target? They've got photos of Cairns base, Hammersley at Sir. Sanjong Port, and they've made fake medical IDs. A medical ID? Sir, what is it, right? Two dads thinks that the man from the Luga Bar is in austere. Stand by, Dutchie. Where is he? Who? Uh, the guy in the white coat, the doctor. Well, he was here a second ago. Why? Thanks. Austere now. There's a bomber on board. What? Where's two dads? He was just looking for the doctor. He's just gone. What's going on? Charge with me. Sir? We don't know where he is. He was last seen in Austin. Or maybe he's decided to abort. I sent Swain up top. There's no sign of him on the dock. If they're going to detonate. They'll do it in Austin to maximize casualties. He's not in Austin. Just after casualties, sir. He wants to sink the ship. He's in the fuel tanks. Charge! You boys were having a bit of a problem. Hey. Yeah, you took your time. Yeah, stop for a beer on the way through. Oh, very funny. Now, you look like a goose. 
Well, it's just for cosmetics, really, to keep the boss happy, because if that thing blows... Yeah, but it's... it's not gonna blow, right? Because you know how to deactivate it? Well, I've seen a similar thing in the Gulf, but... We'll see how we go, eh? Didn't want to touch the vest, just in case we triggered it. Well, that was the right thing to do. This is what we're gonna have to do. We need to tape his hands together on the detonator, okay? We need to keep pressure on it at all times. I'm gonna do this now, all right? I need you to help me with this charge. On his, on his thumbs? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Let's do this slowly. <clears throat> easy, just easy, 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 easy. Okay, I'm, I just need to get in there, just really, You got it? Yeah. Yeah, other hand, other hand. Keep your finger on it. Okay, yeah, take your hands away. Okay. Right. Okay. Up you guys go. That's we're not no, going There's in. nothing you guys can do now. You just gotta let me fix this, alright? Okay? Let's go, fellas. Now. Last corridor's been set up. Crew and passengers have been evacuated. Copy that. Dutchy. Good luck. Thanks, boss. It does blow charge. Is there any chance of saving the ship? Not a chance, sir. We've got two full tanks. The initial blast will set those off and she'll just drop. We find up back? No, sir. I don't think she gives us stuff about Dutchie. Of course not, mate. She's only worried you'll blow up her source of information. Hey. Underestimated you, Junior. You weren't the only one, Charge. What that means, eh? Yeah. You can make a fool of yourself getting rejected by a whole bevy of beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you guys tell them how I single-handedly saved a warship. Oh. Oh. Warship! Oh. Don't right get there. used to it, Bird. He'll be dining out on this for years. <laughs> by the way, your shout to Dad. <laughs> hey, Miss Cruz, just tell me one thing. What have you got against me? What do you mean? You were pretty keen to veto me from that mission of yours. Seemed a bit personal. I just didn't think you were the right fit. Oh? You know nothing about me? I know everything about you. She's a spook. She knows everything about everyone. You heading out with the others? No such luck, I'm afraid. I've got a report that I need to finish. Forget about paperwork. Come over and drink with me. Oh, I am. Sorry. 
just assumed that nothing was going on since you were still serving on the same ship. Well, there is nothing going on. But Mike is resuming a short posting in a few weeks, so... Right. I'm happy for you, Kate. Good to see you.